Okay, what's up, fellas? It's I'm back with some more value. Some more value for all you valuable fellas. So, anyway, today I'm going to talk about how to avoid being seen as weak from women. Okay. I know a lot of you, if you have uh, grown up in America, you have seen a lot of romantic films, maybe comedies, uh, you know, that are full of this cheesy ass shit, um, whether it's Titanic to uh, Romeo and Juliet. It's nothing but this cheesy ass, supplicating, nice guy, um, buying flowers, bullshit, okay? And today I wanted to talk about that and kind of help you guys understand that there are... Movies and reality are not the same thing, okay? Women may love to watch that stuff on TV, they may love to talk about how much they hate men that cheat on Oprah, but they can't help but still be attracted to these same guys, whether they're, you know, the bad boys, the loser jerk with a beautiful girlfriend, whatever. They are still attracted to these guys, and you tend to see this rather often, a lot more often than the nice, polite guy who has gotten the girl. So today I'm going to help you uh, find out or at least target your weaknesses that make you become perceived as weak to women. Okay, And the first one is, like I was saying, with the flowers and Romeo and Juliet, um, is supplicating. You can't supplicate, and supplicating can be anything from being too, uh, too okay with paying for the date, or paying for everything, or buying her stuff, buying her gifts, whatever, um, you know, just doing things for her in general without anything in return. You can't, that's suffocating. You can't do that. You have to get something in return. I don't care how it makes you feel inside, whether it makes you feel like a jerk or not. If you're not getting something in return, she's not gonna respect you. And that's what it comes down to. So you need to uh, get used to uh, having her pay her own way. Especially now with the whole feminism movement going on, it shouldn't be that hard. But yeah, stop suffocating. Okay, so if you are a guy that tends to get friend-zoned a lot, that may be one of the things you're doing, so stop supplicating. The next one is, where are we, is, well, being nice, okay? And a good example of being nice is, well, complimenting, stop complimenting women. Okay? It's okay to tell a woman that she's pretty or she looks good every once in a while, but don't make it your main purpose in life. Uh, have some backbone. Get mad every once in a while. If she says something you don't like that offends you, don't be afraid to say that it offends you. Okay? You know, you don't have to be a dick and blow up and go off the, you know, what's the word? 
go off the deep end with anger or whatever, but just be like, yo, chill. You don't have to say that. I, I don't like what you're saying. Or whatever. Or be like, you know, just get mad. Sometimes I get mad, like, with my girl or with my girls. If they're, like, getting too comfortable disrespecting me, I'll just say something like, okay, that's enough. All right? And then I'll fucking change the topic or whatever. I'll show them that I care, that I don't like it, okay? You shouldn't be afraid to make her angry. And if you get angry yourself, you may make her angry, but at least you're putting your foot down, okay? At least you're showing her that you have boundaries, okay? And having boundaries isn't about being polite. It's about having self-respect, self respect self People with self-respect have boundaries, okay? So you should not let anyone violate your boundaries, even if it's a fucking hot girl that you like, okay? So hold those boundaries, keep those boundaries. Okay, the last one is keep your options open, okay? And I know a lot of women probably don't want to hear this, and a lot of white knights probably don't want to hear this, but women are attracted to cheaters. Women are attracted to guys that have options. Women are attracted to, well, douchebags that cheat, okay? So, if you want to make a woman crazy over you, there's one little trick that you can do. Um, maybe a little controversial, but it works. And that is simply talk to other women when you are out on a date with this girl, okay? Uh, don't make it blatant, don't like blatantly hit on a girl in front of your girl, just say something simple like hi, or how's it going, or whatever. And you know, if the girl reciprocates, because she probably will, especially if you're with a woman, because women tend to be more attracted to men who have a, women already, because women are very competitive with each other, then do that. Get used to talking to women when you're out with women, okay? Women like that. Well, they don't like it. They actually hate it, but it makes them crazy about you, okay? And if she has a problem with it, she says something like, oh, is that girl trying to get your number? Oh, are you trying to fuck that girl? Just be like, no, I was just being polite. Simple. Even if she was trying to fuck you, whatever. Just tell her that you were just being polite, and that will drive her crazy, that, that not knowing what's going on, that little piece of, oh my god, I might lose that guy, that little bit of, uh, of validation that she needs from you, because she doesn't know if this girl is trying to fuck you, or if you're trying to cheat on her. It drives them crazy, that drama, okay? So anyway, that's all I have to share for today. Don't forget that last trick, it really works. Simply talk to women when you're out with other women, okay? Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you next video. Later. stock.